is there really such a thing as right from wrong? Does the existence of universal morality point towards God, or can morality just be explained by, say, evolution? Well, I actually think one of the most compelling arguments for the existence of God is the existence of objective moral values. It has two premises and a conclusion. It goes like this. If objective moral values exist, God must exist. Objective moral values exist, therefore, God must exist. That's it. So let's look at the first premise. If objective moral values exist, God must exist. Well, what is it about objective morality that requires God or a divine grounding, so to speak? Well, morals aren't part of the physical world. You can't weigh them like you can a rock or a glass of water. They seem to be immaterial or spiritual. They contain information, tell the truth, do right, be faithful, and information comes from a mind. And for there to really be a real right and wrong, there needs to be a source outside of human beings. Otherwise, it's just your opinion versus mine. So if there are real moral values and duties, it sure seems to point towards the existence of a moral law giver towards a God. So then the question is, how do we know moral values exist, that values and duties are really objective? Well, one way we know this is it's just obvious. It's obvious. Every one of us knows that torturing an innocent baby for fun is wrong. We simply know it. If somebody doesn't see that that's wrong, that person needs a therapist, not an argument. And by the way, when someone says, yeah, I don't believe there's right and wrong, C.S. Lewis is right, that person will contradict themselves in a matter of time. So I often tell my students, I'll say, if someone tells you there's no such thing as right and wrong, cut in front of them in line. What are they gonna say? That's not fair, that's not right, as if there's really an objective moral standard we're both accountable to. The other thing C.S. Lewis points out in his book, The Abolition of Man, is that across cultures universally throughout history, there are certain moral truths that people are committed to. Things like courage, things like faithfulness, mercy, caring for posterity. Now the practice of those moral principles may vary, but there are universal moral truths that people are committed to. So if objective moral values exist, God must exist. Objective moral values exist. Therefore, God must exist. The existence of a real right and wrong is one compelling reason to believe that there is a source for that right and wrong, the character of God himself. There's a moral law because there's a moral law giver.